Hi everyone, I'm so excited that you're here listening to this video today. I've got some great news for you uh, about the real estate market here in Florida. This is where I work. I am Mike Thomas, real estate agent, Palm Beach County, Florida, but we're going to go through the entire state of Florida, which is going to be really, really neat. You're going to see some numbers. It's really going to surprise you throughout the state of Florida. So if you're looking to buy, sell, or even rent here, um, you know, this is the great video for you. Uh, so let's get started. Right now, what I've got on my screen is Palm Beach County, Florida. And Palm Beach County, Florida is, uh, of course, where I live. So we're going to start here. We're going to go down to Fort Lauderdale, Miami, Port St. Lucie, you know, uh, Jacksonville, Tampa, um, Orlando. So we're going to take a look at everything around the state of Florida and see what's happening. So let's see where here what I have on my screen. And I like medium uh, price homes for sale. And that's what we're looking at right now. We're looking at single family homes. We're looking at medium price sales uh, for single family homes right now. And what are we seeing? Uh, here's the market. This was 2001. And here we are. Uh, this does not look like that the market is falling and collapsing, even with the higher interest rates. The uh, interest rates were jacked up uh, right around here. So it started to go flat for a few months. Everybody was worried. Uh, but now it is moving up right along. So it seems to be that Florida uh, is in this bubble of protection that isn't affected like the rest of the country that I'm looking at. But you know what? Let's take a look at some townhouses and condominiums. Uh, that's townhouses, condominiums. And let's see how that market is. Kind of the same way here is September, um, where it all started. Started to go flat actually in July, uh, which is normal for townhouses and condominiums because it's the hot summer months. It is not season time. Our season actually runs from uh, November to the end of April. And so this is non-season time. I can understand why. Things are kind of flat because things are normally flat anyway in June and July, um, August. And then, of course, September got hit with the uh, rates. November starts kicking in, which is our season time. We come back up and here we are in our season time. So uh, it's looking pretty good uh, there as well. Let's take a look at um, Miami. Oops, Miami County, Miami-Dade County. Right there we are. Let's go to single family homes first. Let's take a look. Medium price sales. Uh, and I look at the medium sales price because I want to know um, if home prices are going up or down. And that's normally what buyers ask me about. You know, are prices going up or prices going down? What's happening in the marketplace? And so with my uh, 30 years of experience in real estate, as an associate uh, broker um, here in Florida, this is uh, this is some perfect analysis of what's going on here. So here's Miami. Miami does a little bit of weird and crazy things, but that's expected from Miami. Here it is in August. The low point uh, jumps up uh, from October of last year all the way to December. Uh, dropped dramatically. This is what I call a price correction. Uh, it's more than 20%, so it's a big, huge price correction right there. And now it's going right back up again uh, because people love the city of Miami, especially me. I love Miami. Miami is a great place. Um, of course, just like the song, Welcome to Miami, right? So Miami, beautiful place. Um, and it is a mega attraction for people from all around the world. Let's take a look at the condominiums market. Again, we are looking at medium sales price of homes in Miami, Dade County. Uh, we're looking at townhouses and condominiums. And here we are. There was this crazy correction last year from June until about September. And then it started to go again. We had a drop in December, which is typical for Miami because it's Christmas time and most people are um, more concerned about the holidays than they are about buying a house. And of course, here it jumps back up again. Of course, if, if this December wasn't there, 
it would just go right along and um, continue that way. Not a correction as I'd call it, but this is Miami-Dade County for townhouses and condominiums. And the average price of a home right now, the medium sales price of a townhouse or condo is $400,000. Uh, of course, that's not going to get you oceanfront, but it is a typical average price of a home uh, or townhouse or condo. Now, if we're looking at single family homes again, going back that way uh, in Miami, the average price of a home is $570,000. Of course, again, that's not oceanfront or waterfront properties. They're, those are much higher. But if you are buying an average home, the medium sales price is $570,000. let us take a look at Broward County. Broward is, of course, Fort Lauderdale area. And the county of Fort Lauderdale is very popular as well, especially for spring breakers. Let's take a look here. You notice that it came down somewhat. Of course, the top peak was here in July. It started to drop, but yet right now after December, the new year, it's starting to pick back up again. Home prices are continuing to rise. For a single family home in the Broward area, uh, Broward County area, Fort Lauderdale, uh, we are looking at, see, here we are, Fort Lauderdale, includes Weston, further out west, um, nice place, nice city of Weston, beautiful. We're looking at $565,000, which was the medium sale price of a home in Broward County area. And if we switch over to, um, mm -hmm, if we switch over to townhouses and condominiums, you can see right here, there was an end of the year dip, but we are right back up here where we belong. And the average price of a townhouse or condominium is $269,500. Of course, that doesn't get you oceanfront or waterfront, but it will get you in a nice uh, townhouse or condo uh, in Broward County area. So that's what we're looking at as far as Broward County. Let's jump over to Tampa. Let's see what the Tampa area is doing. I'm going to go ahead and choose the Tampa, St. Petersburg, Clearwater area, the tri-metro area. And we're going to take a look at single family homes first. And let's see what's going on over there. Tampa is very popular. And of course, everything's peaked at it right around June 2022. And this is what the market is doing. Took a little dip here, but if that month wasn't there, it would continue to be somewhat steady. Um, of course, going back up January. So we're starting off a strong year here. And you're uh, looking at almost $400,000 for medium sales price of a home. Again, doesn't include any type of waterfront or oceanfront. Uh, so homes are still very affordable in the Miami, St. Petersburg, Clearwater area. Very beautiful place uh, to be. Uh, townhouses and condominiums. This is very, very nice. Uh, townhouses and condominiums here, you're looking at, it jumped up here. So September had actually increased uh, as, this is where the, the first interest rate hike was, the big one. I mean, there were a few in May up here too, it started to drop down. Uh, December again, kind of um, a slow month. Uh, Miami market is softening, as it looks like. It's starting to you know come down. It's trying to hold itself here in February, but I think it's uh, it's going to level out and be more steady. It's not as soft as people think it is. Uh, so that is the St. Peter's Clearwater area for medium sale price of homes. I like medium better than average because what happens with an average sales price, if you have one that's really, really low or one sale that's super, super high, it throws these numbers totally off. And so what a medium sales price does, it gets rid of the high one, it gets rid of the low one, and it just takes the, takes the sale price in the middle is what most people are buying. So let's take a look at Orlando. Orlando, Walt Disney World. We're gonna take a look at the uh, Orlando um, Kissimmee area uh, right there. And we're gonna take a look at single family homes first. 
Orlando is very popular for international buyers because people come from all over the world and they end up buying property uh, here in Orlando uh, for various different reasons. Uh, it's a great investment if you're looking to buy something and rent out. They have some great rental programs here in Orlando. But again, pretty steady. Uh, that mouse is definitely holding Orlando uh, property values in place here. So uh, thank God for uh, Walt Disney and the other uh, theme parks, Universal Studios and uh, SeaWorld and the other numerous world theme parks. If you have children, Orlando is a great place to keep kids very active with theme parks and fun things to do. So that is a single family home. The average price of a home uh, in the area is 400, about $420,000. If you're looking on something maybe some smaller um, townhouses or condominiums, you don't like the maintenance of a home, here we are, and that market still is going strong here. Um, hardly skipped a beat. And that's how strong the Orlando market is. So that's a nice area. Let's jump back down to uh, the Naples, Fort Myers area. Uh, Naples, Marco, Marco uh, Island. Uh, let's see how that market is doing right now. So we're looking at the latest market trend report. And right now, uh, it did take a dip uh, from about October down to January, but it is moving back up again right where it was before. So pretty strong. Again, here's the market in August of 2021. And this is where it's at now. So there, the market... Um, here in Florida seems to be very uh, strong and a good investment for most people. So let's take a look at townhouses and condominiums. Uh, we're looking at the Naples area, Marco Island, and we are seeing uh, a dip here. But again, it keeps going up and up and up. And again, if you were looking in November of 2021 versus now, the prices are higher. Uh, it doesn't look like we are affected as the rest of the country. If you're looking at a townhouse or a condominium, it's $500,000 on the average. The medium sales price of a townhouse or condominium in the Naples, um, Marco Island area. So let's take a look at some other places. Let's take a look at Jacksonville since it popped up on my screen here. Now, Jacksonville is very unique as well. The Jacksonville market does look like it's coming down and softening a little bit, but not as most people would expect. Uh, because even if you bought here in December of 2021 or January of 2022, when the market really heated up, um, it's still higher. So it jumped up and it's starting to soften and come down. I wouldn't really worry too much about um Jacksonville does have a nice um, nice naval base there, so uh, keeps keeps the market strong here in Florida. Let's take a look at townhouses and condominiums in the Jacksonville area. And we are seeing that they are staying strong. So maybe people are not buying as many homes, but as far as condominiums and townhouses are concerned, uh, the prices are much better, two hundred and eighty thousand five hundred approximately. Uh, the average price of not the average, the medium sales price of a of a condo or townhouse. Let's take a look at the Tallahassee area, uh, and we'll take a look at the entire metro area of Tallahassee, and we're going to go to single family homes. And let's take a look at what that looks like. So the Tallahassee area is kind of softening, but not as much. But if you know things about Tallahassee, uh, it's a big college town. And what that means is that there are months that are not as strong 
uh, the strongest of the months is normally around the June, July area, the summer months, because people start to buy real estate uh, as an investment and renting out to college students. It's also our state capital. So you get a lot of, um, you know, when our, our state uh, government is in session, uh, you have a lot of activity there. But again, uh, in March 22, which was last year, compared to now, uh, still a strong market. Still not as strong as some other places. However, uh, it is still a very, very good market. And let's take a look at the townhouses and condominiums. Of course, they're priced less. And you're looking at a great deal for $175,000 to get a condo or a townhouse in the Tallahassee greater area is amazing. Um, it's doing some weird jumps, but that's typically to expect uh, in the area. Um, here is some, some data, of course, February 2022 uh, against now. So a year ago, you could have bought for 150. Now you're buying for 175. And the market is very versatile in that area. So let's take a look at some other areas that you might want to see. Uh, let's check out Daytona. I know I'm kind of bouncing around the state a little bit, but the Daytona area is right over here. Let's take a look and see what's happening over there. And I'm going to get to my favorite area, which is the Florida Keys soon, which is Monroe Co County. Uh, see what the Keys are doing. So here we are, market up, 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 and still going up. So Daytona seems to be strong in the single family home area because the single family home prices are only around, right around $350,000, which is great for Florida. Uh, pretty amazing stuff. And um, so let's take a look at how the townhouses and condominium market is doing right now. and not that much less. So right now, uh, you're looking at the difference between a single family home and a townhouse or condominium. Medium sales price is only $25,000. That's pretty amazing. I would definitely buy a home, a single family home, because with a single family home, you actually own the land. With a townhouse or condominium, you'll never own the land. But let's see what happened. So here we are in a very versatile market of buying and selling. And we noticed in October, uh, it really dropped down here, but now it's on the way of recovery. So if I were to take a look at that and say, wow, it's recovering. If I went back one year time, it is still higher, not as much, but we're looking at 312,000 to 324,000. This is an area that if you were thinking about buying, you can actually do that in the Daytona area by waiting it out. I mean, uh, as far as the prices falling and jumping like that, wow, that is pretty amazing. So it's a very versatile market, kind of like Tallahassee. Is there anything else in the entire state of Florida? Let's take a look at the entire state of Florida and let's see overall how Florida has been doing. And in Florida here, we did reach a high point, $420,000 medium sales price of a home. Uh, and now we're at 405. Is it softening? Yes, it's softened between July and December, but now it's starting to go back up again. And this is probably a good time to buy here in Florida because the bottom is already hit and it is going back up again. And so this would be a perfect time to, you know, invest here in Florida, the sunny state of Florida. And here we are again. Uh, of course, it's July 2022. In Florida, average medium sale price of a home, $305,000, and now it's going up again, $320,000. So $15,000 difference, 
uh, in less than a year in the townhouse and condominium market. So very strong state for real estate. Uh, anything else? Yeah, let's check out the Florida Keys just for fun because I love Monroe County. The Florida Keys. And we are looking at single family homes in the Keys. And here we are. Going crazy, huh? Yeah, medium sales price of a house in the Florida Keys is $1.1 million. And here it dropped dramatically when the interest rate dropped. That is a correction in the marketplace. But it bounces right back up. There we are. And as it comes back down again, uh, it's just what time of the year are you buying in the Keys? and what's available during that time. It's all about supply and demand, and uh, which is kind of um, kind of important. You have to look at supply and demand. I'm going to take a look at it, my backyard here in Jupiter, Florida. I live here in Jupiter, Florida, and the single uh, home pricing seems to be strong. In July, it was the strongest, but it has come down and gotten a little soft. Uh, looks like about a 20% uh, correction. So you have about a million twenty-five down to 750,000. That is a 25% correction uh, in Jupiter, Florida. And let's just take a look at one more Palm Beach Gardens. I'm making that spelling correctly here. Palm Beach County, North Palm Beach, Palm Beach Gardens. Let's take a look at the single family home market there. Again, bounces up and down. And the reason there's so much um, bouncing of data is because we're very seasonal here. So it depends on whether we're in season or out of season, um, whether they're pre-season buyers, whether they're after season buyers, uh, this all affects the Palm Beach County uh, market and especially Palm Beach Gardens. We've got a lot of new home construction going on, but if I took a look at uh, August at the height and now the difference is about a $100,000 difference. In price. So is the market getting a little softer? Yes, but I think with the more affordable townhouses and condominiums here, um, it's even gotten softer. So in May it was 530 and now it's a hundred over a hundred thousand dollars less. So as we look and zoom in on specific data, I can even look in certain zip codes as well, uh, it does make a difference. So that is the market report. Do we have anything else that we wanna look at? If there's another market that you want me to actually look at, uh, maybe like the Melbourne market uh, or the Vero market, let me know. And I can take a look at that market and give you the statistical data and analysis of that market. Take a look at single family homes. So leave me a comment below. Tell me which uh, area that you might be interested in. And I will do my best to respond to you with some statistical data on that market. Um, my name is Mike Thomas. I am a real estate agent here in Palm Beach County, Florida. Uh, if you need me, uh, my contact information is always below and you can always leave a comment and let me know exactly what you're looking for.